there's definitely a lot of great things coming from VR, and I think as long as the games keep coming, VR will continue to make progress. Especially with three major headsets out there right now and supposedly more coming from other companies down the line, I think trying to find the right headset for you is going to be a critical thing when looking at VR. Oculus, obviously a new company, a startup. They're trying to get people to, to come to them. They have some great exclusives coming out, but you need that high-end PCs that really starts to jack up the price. So right now, VR actually is at, the, at a spot where I think we're all learning. But at the same time, we're learning and making experiences that have never existed in gaming before. Uh, we've been so accustomed, I think, to work a certain way and to play a certain way all our lives that this boundary that we're crossing right now allows people to actually see things, experience things, touch things in the game that they would never do uh, you know, otherwise. overheats you can actually feel the steam and kind of the overheating effect as well. All right, what we're showing here at E3 is TouchSense Force for game developers. And we've created a tool that's currently an Unreal Engine plugin uh, to create haptics for cross-platform games. So whether it's the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive or maybe the Nintendo Switch, you can now create great haptics across all those devices. And when she shoots the gun, she can actually feel the effect of the gun being shot. When she reloads the gun, she's going to have a real engine plug-in that we built for games. And so you can bring in, an, as a developer, you can bring in an animation from your game here. Um, and what you'll see here... So haptics is the sense of touch. And with virtual reality, you're trying to put someone in a new place. And a word that's commonly used is called presence. And so you want to establish presence. You want to put this person in this virtual world. Um, when they're in that world, if they can't feel it, it immediately takes them away. It breaks the whole idea of presence. And so haptics is super important in VR. So for Zoom's a VR fitness platform. And so about a year ago, we started shipping a VR bike, which comes with our seven games in Verzoom Arcade. Today, we're showing off compatibility on Samsung Gear VR, as well as a new product called the VZ Sensor, which attaches to any existing stationary bike and transforms it into the Verzoom experience. I think the future of VR will be huge. I think the power of VR to get people moving is something we're really excited about and that's what we're focused on, but there's also a ton of different industries from medical to gaming to rehab to sports to content viewing that will all be greatly impacted by VR. We're really focused on fitness and gaming and what, how those two intersect. With clay, you can uh, have gesture recognition in a simple smartphone. You can play, uh, for instance, uh, your uh, game as a, um, a casual game, and you can play it in VR with just the smartphone in the headset. You can play easily, and maybe, oh, I want to select this game. Oh, go, go, little car. Go. Oh. So it's very easy, easy to play. Okay. Yeah, I think um, it, it will be different tomorrow, maybe in AR or VR, in the glasses, something like that. It will be uh, enhance the human possibilities.
So Displaying XR, we believe that you can't be immersed in virtual reality when there's a cable attached to you. You know, you spend $1,500 to $5,000 on a PC, and then you pull it over when you're in a VR session. It doesn't really work out too well. So what we've done, we believe we've game changed everything here by moving things in to be completely wireless. Now, we've gone through a couple of years of people talking about virtual reality. Now we're at a point where it really starts to make sense. The content's good, the technology's fantastic today, and then when you cut the cord and you make it really wireless, I mean, look at this. You can run in around in a room in here, not have to worry about the cable, jump up in the air, you know, imagine what you can do. 